My name is Mario Palladini. I'm from Argentina, founder and CEO from Club Globals. So our vision basically in Globals is to create a global pass. So imagine right now you have Uber, okay? You press Uber and the car comes to you. Imagine if you press the global pass and then everything you need to start your new life come to you based on your social connection and the location you are. That's what we're building and that's the vision of Global. To make international life easier by bringing to you the most trusted service providers based on your social connections that we'll learn based on your open graph on Facebook, for example, and we'll be able to recommend you based who are the most people you trust the most. So when you come to a new city, sometimes you don't know who to, you can trust, where to find the trusted uh, real estate uh, agent or a headhunter or a tax advisor. Or a, so the community is recommending basically who is the best service providers for you and you can meet them also offline so you can meet like-minded people that will help you also to start a new life as well. Companies also like them because they refer, the HR departments, they refer to global, the new employees because they know they will find other people like them that will help to relocation process faster as well. So the customer is the service provider who paid to be listed in the website. So basically we've been bootstrapping, investing the founders been investing from the beginning on. We are very good in bootstrapping. Berlin is a great city to bootstrap as well. So we got managed to get the very inspired people that were helped a lot of volunteers, supporters who helped to build the website, to get the traction. So right now we got an angel investor to help us to get a new website, redesign, responsive mobile and put the on implement new things that we got a lot of feedback to, to change. So when we hire people, thank us, we're very honored to have great people joining the team, very inspired, global minded. Uh, so that was never a, a challenge for us to get the amazing people. Uh, we would love to, we can pay uh, people actually. So from Maris, like we're getting people that are helping, supporting, internship, that's where we started actually. Uh, ideally, soon the, the, the revenue is growing and as soon as we are getting more funding, we'll start paying people. Right now, what we're looking actually is, uh, we're always looking for global community managers, people who develop the community, are good in social networks, social media. We also, of course, uh, event managers will help us with events. Also the business development, who, people who want to help other businesses to have contacts with the, the experts as well, to increase the inventory of the platform as well. And of course, uh, if you are awesome, web designer, UI is always welcome. So they contact us. I mean, they contact us and they will like, they see the profile, they see what we're doing, they, they, they come to the events and they say, hey, uh, can I join you guys? Uh, say, look, we cannot pay from day one. Uh, we're growing, we're bootstrapping. Um, yeah, I, can, I want to join anyways. Uh, okay. I, and even say, uh, I'm getting paid in other industries, but I want to join you guys because I feel I will learn more here. I'll speed up my career development faster and I'll get better contacts when I take to the next level. Because the other industry they offer me is like tick, 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 boring, big corporate, they, I get a salary, but I don't learn. Interns, they come, when they come to us, they get full responsibility of projects and they're super excited. I mean, we will feature in Venture Village about our interns that we don't pay, but they learn so much and they are telling their stories and they are super happy in Globals even if they don't get money. <laughs> so that's, that, that's, I'm very proud of that. I was very thankful. I'm not proud of not paying people, don't get me wrong. Uh, I would love to, if we would like get investors throwing us money. I'll, I mean, myself, I'm not getting paid as well either. So the moment I will start getting paid myself, then I will be, feel bad not paying other people. But so far, no, nobody's getting paid. Everybody believes in the project and we're growing, growing, and the moment that will ramp up, those will be the first people that we consider to pay. Yeah, what we're looking actually basically is like uh, global uh, community managers, community developers, so people who like help the expats, uh, find them where they are, which groups, in which networks, invite them to join Club Globals. We're also looking for event managers to help us to organize the events. We're help looking also for designers as well, because a lot of design is involved to create uh, content uh, creation. It's very important for us. 
and yeah, that's pretty much the people we're looking for. And of course, for business development, uh, people who is able to acquire new service provider to help the expat in the international life. Actually, it's like this 1% inspiration, 99% transpiration. Uh, the startup is a roller coaster, so you really need to be in love with what you're doing because you're going to end up doing a lot of time uh, spending nights and yeah this is something that you have to be ready to face it uh, I will never change it uh, the, the decision I was living the corporate life of corporations and flying business but nothing changed to have following your own purpose no actually I did now the company is awesome I mean, it was like uh, flying and here five-star hotels uh, good life uh, was amazing it was amazing life uh, but I always felt that I was not fulfilling a purpose, I was not changing something, I have no influence and that's what I feel like uh, I was not in bad, I, didn't, I was working with the right purpose actually. So I decided to leave the corporate and jump into the dream and yeah, fighting here. I like pretty much the, the, the startups with the shared economy actually. The uh, idea of the shared economy that people start focusing on like what is uh, mine, 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 from the mine going to the, from the me going to the we and start focusing more like how to uh, an access economy. So we can, how can we use better actually different. So all the, I think like the, yeah, the car to go, the drive now, blah, blah, car, for example, there are startups, they are really taking like Airbnb as well. Um, so there are sort of startups actually that really making, uh, using the, the inventories available, make it accessible for others and too often. Like also the bikes, like Lock, Lock 8, great idea, you know, it's just uh, you can convert your bicycle and start renting your bicycle, create a bicycle community. So those are the startups that I kind of like, I'm excited about what is coming in the future. It was one night I went to the 3D movies with my team and I say, guys, I will wear these glasses until the website is online. And the guy took them and said, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. The next day I came with these black frames of the 3D movies and they looked at me, what are you doing? I wear these glasses until the website is online. So really keep me focused on my mind on really website ready, website ready. And then the days pass over and pass over and then I was going to events, like every startup going to events, uh, networking and people were asking me, Mario, you don't have glasses there. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm focusing my next month, so what are you doing? Yeah, and, and I had the chance to explain the global vision, like making international life easier, helping the expat to come to New City, and that really works actually. It's uh, become like a like icebreaker, like eye catcher. people remember the, the glasses. And then I said, wow, the website is ready now. So I had to take the glasses out. I said, wait a moment, it was quite good actually. I was invited to Web Summit to take the, uh, the story about the global vision. It was in the Irish Times, so I, actually it's working. So I decided to keep the glasses and change the color based on my next milestone. So I changed to white until the first customer was paying. And then I changed to red until we got the first investor. And now we're in the orange glasses until six digits. <laughs> So I hope you join us in Global Vision and looking forward to seeing another network event that's part of the class.